favorite part of my morning walks is saying good morning to the little cows. <laughs> you have to use your spoon. Can mommy have one? Say Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. Play Doh, look, pick one. Good morning! Somebody woke up in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm doing my skincare right now. I figured I would hop on the camera and chit chat with you guys. Catch y'all up. Don't be saying y'all like I'm Southern now. What? No, but um, it's been amazing here so far. I've been here for two days and I figured let's start vlogging my trip. So I haven't vlogged the last two days because it was just so chaotic. You know, I was really just like trying to also live in the moment. Let me wash my face real quick. Tell me how I'm actually so comfortable in this Airbnb. It is such a nice little place. And the drawers are so huge that my skincare bag that I pack, the entire bag fits in the drawer without me having to like unpack all my skincare, which I wasn't planning on doing, but I was planning on hanging up my skincare bag because it has like a little hook. But the drawers are so huge in this Airbnb. I actually really love this place. I'm super comfortable. It's a little bit, not worried, but like I brought my own bed sheets. I literally just woke up. That's why I look like this, y'all. But I brought my own bed sheets and everything because I'm just a very like, I don't know, you guys know how I am. I'm very like particular and I just like like my cleanliness and I like my things and I like to just be very clean, right? So I was very much just like wondering how I would feel in an Airbnb, like sleeping in a bed that's not mine with sheets that are not mine. So I brought my own sheets and everything. And the day that I got here, I was like, this bed looks so clean and cozy. Like everything is just so nice. I felt really good immediately. So I haven't even been using my own bed sheets. Did not need to pack that. Like I just feel really comfortable here. Well, I'm not staying in in actual Nashville like I'm staying in like this a surrounding area but it's just stunning here like the nature that's here first of all I don't know if you guys saw my skin before I'm not facing the window so I'm not getting like exact direct natural light right now but I don't know if you guys saw my skin before but I literally woke up like that like glowing okay the air quality here the nature everywhere has like extremely large trees like I went to Target yesterday and it's like the whole plaza is just like full of like large trees it's just like nature everywhere you look and that is so my vibe i'm absolutely loving it here but since we literally just got here two days ago we haven't done much in terms of exploring we've just obviously gone on a lot of walks yesterday it was first of all the heat the heat honey it is like mid to low 30s this entire week and we have been going on some long walks just because we've been loving it like i love it honestly i am so ready to just like give up the cold like canada's spring or ontario's spring this year has been insane it's been cold we had a barbecue before i left on my trip for my dad for father's day it was literally cold like why is it cold in june like canada catch up but i will say i did check the weather there in canada this week and they're also getting some 30s which is crazy but anyways 
they're just now starting to get warm like keep up keep up <laughs> it's funny we went to target yesterday and realized you couldn't use debit so we were like trying to use debit and it didn't work and then um afterwards we realized you have to do credit like rookie mistake which i know you should get cash so you don't pay the rate which we did that yesterday but anyways so we didn't realize and so we told the lady oh okay that makes sense it's because we're canadian she's like oh my god you're from canada y'all must be dying in this heat and i said to her i'm like no honestly yes it is a lot but like i'm so living for it because i cannot stand the damn weather in canada y'all so anyways we haven't done much like exploring like we're so excited to just go to like we have like a whole list of things we want to do here and check it out but we've just been doing like chill things because we really we had a hectic weekend and a hectic travel day we've just been like chilling like going for long walks ordering food yesterday we went to the grocery store went to target cooked like just kind of like that vibe just chilling like settling in first and today is day three and i'm really looking forward to just going out and exploring i think we're gonna go to downtown franklin i've heard amazing things so yeah i'm excited but let me tell you guys how travel day has gone with kylo and sugar honestly it went really well obviously it was chaotic it was my first time traveling in 10 years and then obviously my first time with a dog and a baby or a toddler and i'm not gonna lie to y'all traveling with a toddler is chaotic kylo was amazing on the plane like amazing on the plane he loved it and we just utilized like the stuff that we had i brought like little washable painting thing for him and then after like an hour an hour and 15 ish i just gave him his shows to watch i was like i'm done because i need a break too after a hectic travel day so yeah he was content with that and honestly the flight was only two hours i said this to my husband and he was like yeah, me too. It literally felt like it was only 45 minutes. I don't know why, but it was just such a quick flight. Like it felt like we hopped on and like hopped off 45 minutes later. It did not feel like two hours. And I know there is a time difference. So Tennessee is one hour behind Toronto. So even though our flight took off at nine, when we landed in Tennessee, it was 10. But it's not the time difference because I'm just talking about like physically me sitting on that plane. It did not feel like I was sitting for two hours. Like it's crazy. It was such a quick flight. So the actual flight Kylo did really good but at the airport oh, it's like and he's in this terrible two phase right now ever since he had his birthday literally he's been having like three to four tantrums a day i'm not even joking so he's in this like phase right now which i'm waiting for him to outgrow and yesterday he was pretty good and today he's pretty good so far so i'm feeling like he's outgrowing it but it's just like ever since he turned two he was like let me ramp this up right now yeah so at the actual airport he was getting pretty impatient just like you know the long lineups you have to check in and he's sitting in his stroller waiting and then when he isn't sitting in his stroller we're constantly like I have to keep him close to me and watch him and it's like just the whole check-in process there's not much time for a toddler to like get up and explore and stretch their legs you know so he was just getting really impatient and he almost well he kind of low-key did throw a tantrum you know the part where like you're going into your gate like not when you're like go boarding the plane but like when you're past security and then you're in the line where you like need to go into the gate section I don't know what that's called but whatever that section oh my god he like threw a tantrum and I was like this is so embarrassing what do I do he was like mommy I want love Lara bar which is like the snack so I'm like okay cool like I'll give you the Lara bar I go give him the Lara bar he's like no I'm like but you want to you asked for the Lara bar so then I'm like okay you don't want it so I took it away and he's like no I want Lara bar I'm like take the Lara bar like literally oh my god I was like you chose right now Kylo to throw like the most irrational tantrum but I felt for him like he was like you know he's just bored like bored wants to stretch his legs and stuff so anyways up until then though but that was like right before the gate once we got to the gate he was able to be free go look at the windows look at the plane so then he was good but yeah he just was getting a little impatient at the airport before that little tantrum though he was pretty good honestly and he was listening to me I told him you have to stay in the stroller because like there was so much happening we had so much baggage we had sugar too I had to keep an eye on him so for me in my mind the best place for him to stay where he's safe as a stroller so i said to him the man has to check our bags the security officer you have to stay in the stroller so he did listen honestly pretty well i think it went pretty well the part that was really chaotic is we got a little bit lost with the park and fly situation but yeah either way we made it and sugar did amazing not a peep from him even one of the guys that was boarding the flight as well he was sitting there and he pointed at sugar he's like wow not a peep from this guy eh like he was well he didn't say eh. canadians i can't lose the eh. but anyways he said not a peep from this guy and like yeah like sugar was so good he was so calm at the very beginning when we were like packing up the bags and everything i could tell sugar was getting slightly anxious so i just gave him two of these little calming treats and he did really well and then when the plane actually took off he was feeling anxious like he was shaking a little bit so i gave him one more calming treat and he was good honestly i feel like he didn't even really need the calming treat it more just like helped him like let's be real i took my ashwagandha too okay like i need a calming treat so the dog must need one too <laughs> you know what i'm saying like he really technically could have done 
without it but it definitely helped anyways we had to go to target yesterday to get some necessities because we were like so low on deodorant and i couldn't find the schmitz one kylo was getting impatient so i really didn't have time to hop from store to store so i just picked up the native i do love the native one but it's not completely clean i believe someone bought the company and it's not like 100 clean but it's still a better option so i just opted for that one on like a quick short notice but i'm obsessed with target let me just say we went twice yesterday twice okay and it's like literally walking distance from our airbnb we're like in heaven over here i'll show you guys later like a little target haul but oh my god this is another point that i haven't mentioned why didn't nobody tell me that y'all get cockroaches in the cell honey like i'm so ignorant it is day three and i have already killed multiple spiders and two cockroaches the last time I saw a cockroach was like 10 years ago when I was in Dominica and we don't get them in Canada. Like we just don't get them. It's not warm enough of a climate. It's only like warm three months out of the year in Canada at best, like two to three months. So they just don't go there. It's not worth it for them. You know, they're like, I'm not packing my bags and going to Canada. It ain't worth it for me, which I understand. <laughs> so I am so ignorant. Like how did I not take it in that in the South, y'all get cockroaches because it's warm as hell almost all year round here. Ignorance, Amy, ignorance. Anyways, thankfully I'm not as scared of them as I was when I was younger. Like when I was in Dominica, I opened up my luggage and there was a cockroach in there and I literally was hyperventilating. My mom had to give me medication to calm me down. Like I was hyperventilating. I think I was like 15 or 14. I literally actually almost had a panic attack. I'm not joking. But back where I live, we live near a ravine. So it's very naturey and there is a lot of bugs. So when I moved there, I kind of got used to seeing a lot of spiders, caterpillars, snails, cicadas, really large insects, just strange insects there. You know what I mean? Cause we're near a ravine. So I kind of got used to that. And so over the years, I'm not really as scared of like spiders and stuff anymore, but not the roaches, honey. Like what? It's not a vibe, but it's what you got to deal with if you want to be in a warm climate. So I understand. <laughs> Kylo has been doing so good with his sleep. Like I was a little worried uh, how he would adjust to like another place, especially the first night. I was like, oh my God, the first night him sleeping alone in a room that's not his, like for sure he's going to call me in multiple times in the night for like reassurance, you know? Nope, was knocked out for 10 hours straight. Like he was knocked out and he's been so good. And his room doesn't have blackout curtains. It does have blinds, right? But you guys know blinds are not blackout. Like there's lots of light in there still. And so I obviously brought brought the portable blackout curtains, but I just, I put them up on the window and the way that the window is, it shows from the front of like the house. And I know there's HOA here. And like, I just don't want anybody to complain that like, cause it doesn't look nice, right? Like the outside of the house now has like a black sheet on it. Like it doesn't look good. It looks kind of trashy, obviously. And I just don't want to like upset anyone. And like, I don't want, I don't know if that's against the HOA rules. And I honestly totally get it. Even my mom was like, I don't want that crap on the front of my house. Like it doesn't look good. You know, like having a random black sheet on the front of your house. If it was able to be behind the blinds, that's different. But the way these are, they suction to the window. So they do show. I don't really care about it at my house because Kylo's room faces the side of the house. So no one really sees it. But I could totally understand not wanting to show that at the front, right? So we took them off and I was like, oh, fingers crossed he sleeps good. I was trying to think of a solution. I was going to green tape the blackout curtain like outside of the blind so that it doesn't show from the front of the house. But we need to go grab painter's tape to try that out. Probably do that today. But I don't know if we're even going to bother anymore more because he slept fine last night and he actually slept in this morning so um yeah he's actually been fine and he took his nap yesterday a good one and a half hour nap with no blackout blinds so he's been doing fine without it so i don't even know if i'm going to bother it's kind of just amazed me at how good he's done and how flexible he's been because he is used to having a fully blackout room like you guys know i have blackout curtains in my house plus i have the blackout sheet to like extra eliminate the light so he's actually been doing really good kylo is outside on the balcony with his daddy but i brought a basket of his toys so that he would feel like at home and comfortable since we are staying here for so long i really did want him to feel at home i didn't want him to feel like where am i where's my stuff but yeah he's been sleeping good and he's been really loving this weather y'all like we were out almost all day yesterday and he kept asking to go outside play with the rocks and everything he's just loving it i am trying to figure out what to wear today i don't want to like fully unpack even though we're here for a month i still am keeping as much as possible in luggages and stuff and like even in the kitchen i'm keeping all my stuff in one cabinet because i just don't want it to be like chaotic when like i have to like go pack everything back again by the way these pjs like how freaking cute are they i've been wearing them non-stop and i had to bring my beige slippers because they just make me feel so comfy and cozy and at home i don't know what to wear today hmm. i don't know i'll think about it <laughs>
<laughs> you have to use your spoon. You have to use your spoon. You hold mommy's hand? No, mommy. Oh, okay, sir. Fire truck! Wow. You see it, Kylo? Oh my god, sand pit. <laughs> okay, definitely recommend coming here for kids. This place is huge. It's an airplane, Kylo. Wow, look at this playhouse. Look, playhouse. Yes, look at the playhouse. Woo, try again. You can put your hands on here. Yeah, good job. Okay. <laughs> try again, bud. You can do it. You don't want to? No. Okay, baby. It's too big. Let's try something else. Ooh, look at these tires. Whoa. Okay, let's eat. Well, I had to try these. I have always heard of these, but we do not get them in Canada. So I could not choose what flavor, and honestly, I just wanna try them all. So I picked up all of these flavors. And actually, I was only able to find these at Target. Mm -mm -mm. So excited to try these. Okay, don't mind how crazy I look. I literally just got out of the bathtub like an hour ago because we spent the whole day at a splash pad and like outdoor pool. It was so much fun. I didn't really vlog it because like there's so many kids there and I don't want to show other people's kids on camera, obviously, but it was like so much fun. The scenery, of course the drive, like I feel like everywhere you drive and everywhere you turn, it's just gorgeous. But anyway, it was like a lot of fun. Then we stopped and grabbed pizza like you guys saw on the way home. Kylo demolished an entire large slice the slices were ginormous the pizza was amazing by the way that's supposed to be the best pizza in franklin tennessee and it was amazing my only like thing i would change is i just like when my pizza is a little bit more well done like i like when my pizza is more brown so that's like the only thing i would change but i'm sure that's something you could just request other than that amazing like it was like thin slices which i love thin sliced pizza anyways let's try these thought i would just try these quickly before i go and lay in the bed and watch some netflix <laughs> okay which one should i try first i'm gonna try this one because it's a mixture of the chocolate chip cookie dough with the fudge brownies. That's why I always have a hard time opening things. Oh my god. Let me get a scissors. Okay, I got a scissors. My hair looks a mess. Okay, let's try these. Oh my god, they look so good. Mmm. I mean, it's literally just cookie dough, but I love frozen cookie dough. And the fact this is, this is already in bites. And then you have the little fudge brownie pieces. Mmm. I'm actually so mad that I didn't get any Ben and Jerry's ice cream because I feel like that would hit so hard right now. I feel like ordering some. I just feel like that's a waste of money. I'm like debating it right now. Can you guys see like the wheels turning in my head? Like should I order some ice cream? Okay, those are fire. Let's try the peanut butter cup ones. I'm actually really excited for these. I keep running out of space on my SD card. I need to just empty this damn SD card. Okay, so it's literally chocolate chip cookie dough bites 
But then there's a little mini peanut butter cups. Mmm. This just hits. I think this might be my favorite one. Because you can literally just be in front of the TV watching Netflix and you're just snacking on frozen cookie dough and peanut butter cups. Like, what could be better? I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one because it's snackable graham cracker cookie dough and marshmallow truffles. So this is the s'mores one. I love the s'mores Ben & Jerry ice cream, but I don't know because the cookie dough is just like a graham cracker. It's good. It's good, but like, I wouldn't like, I don't think I'd go crazy. Oh, it actually is good. It's hitting. And then this is the little marshmallow truffles. Okay, this one kind of slops. I'm gonna be real with y'all. The only reason I tried this is because I do love the Ben and Jerry s'mores ice cream. So I was like, gotta try the snack bowl. Okay, this kind of slaps. Mm, this is good. Definitely met my expectations. These hit. Like, I actually think I'm trying to think of which ones I'm gonna bring in the bedroom with me right now to snack on while I watch Netflix. Today is like my little cheat meal sitch. I had the pizza and now I'm having this. And then for the next three days, we're gonna make sure to cook at home and eat healthy to balance it all out. But I think this one might be my least favorite mixture because I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of picky when it comes to brownies. I feel like these two are my. My fave, I'm gonna bring these in the bedroom right now and go to town. Mmm, so good. So many horses. <laughs> <laughs> ordered breakfast from this place called Big Bad Breakfast in Franklin and it is so good. Last time I got the hash cakes, which I will pop up a photo here. They're really good. But this time I got the fries. They have these amazing like sausage patties. And then I got a chocolate chip pancake. Excuse the angle, but we're having so much fun and I just had like an epiphany I'm just like, you know what parenting isn't hard We just need to parent at the beach because this is the most peaceful few hours I've ever had in my life Kylo right as I say that he's literally been playing for hours and I've just been peacefully sitting here I mean I have gone in the water a few times, but yeah, like I swear these kids could play at the beach for hours <laughs> he found this random hole on the floor and he's just been putting sticks in it. Oh, there's another hole here. I swear farm life is the life for me, but not like the work of a farm. So I just visit them. <laughs> Anyways, backstory on this farm. It's basically like free to enter. You literally just drive up, park your car, and it's completely free. You just can chill here. You can have a picnic under the trees. There's like a small pond where you can fish. And apparently like the family sold it to the government. So the government just runs this now and just like has it completely open and free for you to just like come and do as you please. And there's like a fenced in dog area where you can just let your dog off leash. Like it's just so cool to just have this, to be able to just do like fun little nature exploring with your toddlers and kids. Or like I said, have 
have a picnic. What's up you guys? I am getting ready because we're going to the zoo today. It's actually almost 12, so barely morning, but Kylo's napping. I'm about to do my crazy hair, so don't mind that, but I just put on my little outfit. Let me show you guys it better. I'm obsessed with this fit. It's just cash and cute. These shorts are from Amazon, and how cute are these? Like, they're so comfy. I think they were really affordable, honestly. I bought them in Canada, but I wish I bought it here because it's even cheaper in the States, like US Amazon, but they're very comfy. I love that they're not, like, too showy, and then I just paired it with this cute little tank. Can we talk about how pale my stomach is? Look at it compared my arms by the way this is an all-natural tan like i have not used self tanner but i have been wearing a lot of like my hat so my face has not gotten too tan it has a slight little tan but i have been using my salty face tanning water to make my face match my body but it's faded now because i used it like three days ago but i think instead of putting on the salty face tan i think i'm just going to put on like a very light little bit of makeup today like nothing crazy look at this crazy hair y'all i am just going to put my hair in like a low bun and then i'm going to wear my white baseball cap because we're gonna be in the sun today today is really sunny so i'm getting text messages that's what those buzzing is it ended up working out perfectly because the first time we scheduled to go to the zoo, forgot to look at the weather. Like I booked the tickets online and I just like didn't look at the weather, forgot we're in Tennessee. <laughs> like two days later, looked at the weather and I was like, oh my God, it's going to be 36 degrees. And I was like, no, like that's not practical to go to the zoo in 36 degree weather. Like 36 degree weather is like pool day or like going to the splash pad or some sort of water activity day, right? Not going to the zoo where you're literally just walking in the heat looking at animals right so i'm like that is not practical so i rescheduled it i am just realizing i need to shave my armpits <laughs> so i rescheduled it for today and it ended up working out perfectly because if you're from tennessee or you just know like you're from the south it almost never goes under 30 degrees in june july and august it's almost always over 30 right so i looked at the weather app and i was like oh my god today monday it's gonna be 28 degrees and i was like that's perfect so i scheduled it for today instead so it ended up working out really good because instead of you know 36 degree weather we're actually getting a 20 something day which is rare for tennessee in july i'm trying to do my ponytail but i need to shave my armpits and i don't want to show you all my hairy armpits so i'll be right back okay and just did my hair cute little sleek middle part bun and i will put my cap on after y'all i really gotta work on this belly tan <laughs> it's because i never have my belly out and even like my bathing suit that i've been wearing here is just like a one piece okay so what should i put on my face Hmm. Let's do the Urban Decay Skin Bond, but I think I need to mix the shades. This is 19, which looks a little dark for me right now, and then 13. So I'm gonna mix these two, but I'm just gonna do a light little layer. I want like barely no makeup on. Like I'm literally putting almost nothing, but my face is like kind of lighter than my body. If my face matched my body right now, I don't even think I would wear foundation. Just a little bit of concealer. Nothing crazy, literally just a little. Just do a little bit of brow gel. Little bit of bronzer, just a little. I have barely been wearing makeup here, so it actually feels good to put on a little bit of makeup today. Okay, my camera died, but I just wanted to show y'all I am ready to go, so I will see you at the zoo. Big tongue. Taste some. <laughs> wow.
Thank you. Hot chicken. Got a set of fries. Oh, perfect. Boom. Mm, so you're already chicken, saying yummy. Adobo, and a side of fries, and a side of black beans. Thank you so much. You're, you're excited already? Say thank you. Delicious. Okay, here. Try it. Mm, mommy. Is it good? Mm. Okay, mommy, try one. Mmm, that was so good. And I'm really picky with cookies. And there's a brownie one. This way, buddy. Beautiful sunflower field. Oh, there's alpacas here. So cute. Kylo, you're gonna see an alpaca. <laughs> that one's just for show, baby. We can just look at it and touch it, but we can't go inside of it. Okay. Yes, the car's broken. You can't go in it. Ooh, spooky, Kylo said. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky too! Well, the lady at the front gave Kylo a monster truck and he's so happy. Whoa. The goat. Yes! Hi little goat! Oh look Kylo, you can touch him. Hmm. They have a giant bubble pit, a water slide, and splash pad area. Kylo is going to freak when he sees this. He is loving the goats right now. Oh my god. Hi little guy! The goat tried to eat you? Yeah, I think he's hungry, booby. Kylo keeps calling the goat with the black and white a cow. <laughs> This is a Red Bull slushy, and it is so good. I'm trying not to drink it all because I don't want the calories, but it is fire. Whoa, buddy, a blue tractor. 